Radioactivity and nuclear chemistry involve changes in the nuclei of atoms, while in chemical reactions, elements remain the same on each side of the equation, often nuclear reactions involve an atom changing from one element into another kind of element. Radioactivity is the emission of subatomic particles or high-energy electromagnetic radiation by the nuclei of atoms. These nuclei are typically unstable and the radioactivity helps the nuclei to become more stable. As we discuss radioactivity in coming videos, we'll need to represent the different kinds of nuclei or atoms that we're working with. From previous lessons, you should recall that elements are represented by their symbols and are defined by their atomic number, represented by capital letter Z. The atomic number is the number of protons in the nucleus. Different isotopes of an element are distinguished by their mass numbers, represented by capital letter A, which is the sum of the protons and neutrons in the nucleus. We can represent a particular isotope, or nuclides, by a notation which involves the symbol of the element, here represented by the X, the mass number in the upper left corner, represented by the capital letter A, and the atomic number, represented here by the capital letter Z, in the lower left corner. The number of neutrons, or n, can be found by subtracting the atomic number from the mass number. So for example, when we want to talk about the isotope of magnesium that has a mass number 24, we would refer to it by name as magnesium 24, and we would write its symbol with the symbol mg with a 24 in the upper left corner for the mass number and a 12 in the lower left corner for the atomic number. In magnesium 24, there are 12 protons and 12 neutrons in the nucleus. When we discuss nuclear chemistry or radioactivity, we'll encounter a number of subatomic or decay particles. These particles have a representation as well. For protons, we use a lowercase letter p with a mass number of 1 and an atomic number of 1. For the neutron, we use a lowercase n as the symbol with a mass number of 1 and an atomic number of 0, since neutrons have no charge. For the electron, we use a lowercase letter e with a 0 for the mass number, and we use a negative 1 for the atomic number because electrons have a negative charge. One of the more common nuclear de decay particles is the alpha particle. This can be represented by a lowercase Greek letter alpha with a 4 in place of the mass number and a 2 in place of the atomic number. Since the element with a mass number of 4 and 2 protons is helium, we can also represent the alpha particle with a symbol for helium with the 4 mass number and the 2 atomic number. Another common decay particle is the beta particle. The beta particle is like an electron, but it comes from the nucleus. In this case, we use the lowercase Greek letter beta with a 0 for the mass number and a negative 1 for the atomic number. Gamma rays are high energy releases of energy, represented by a lowercase Greek letter gamma. Gamma rays have no charge and no mass, so we use a mass number of zero and an atomic number of zero. After watching this video, you should be able to differentiate chemical and nuclear reactions. You should also be able to represent isotopes based on their symbols, atomic numbers, and mass numbers. Finally, you should be able to represent and recognize some atomic and decay particles based on their symbols, mass numbers, and charge or atomic number.